Garden. This is Tina. I've got another retro recipe from my family to yours. And today we're going to make macaroni salad the way my dad taught me to make it when I was about 10 years old. So you can see I've got some macaroni out there. Uh, my dad did not use pickle relish. He chopped his own pickles. He used both dill and sweet. And uh, we got some onions over there and we've got some chopped olives. Um, let's see, there will be eggs and seasonings in there as well. But the thing is, is my dad didn't measure with measuring cups. <laughs> so I will show you how he taught me to make it. In the end, I will measure. So at the end of this, we will have measurements. But remember, to play with your food. <laughs> yes, I am abdicating you to play with your food. Um, make this to your taste. Uh, my son is not a big pickle person, but the pickles are chopped finely. Everything is chopped finely. That is the secret. When you take a bite of macaroni salad, you want a little bit of everything in there. So, let me get started. And uh, the first thing my dad always said was he dumped a little bit, I should say, he splashed some um, dill pickle juice in the bowl. So I will do that and then I will dump it out and measure it so we have a measurement. And then I will start getting out the pickles and we'll start there. I'll be right back. All right, I had to go get another jar of pickles. <laughs> um, so this is how my dad did it. He always started out with four dill pickles and four sweet pickles. Oops. And you can see the sweet pickle is much smaller than the dill pickle. And then he just chopped them up finely. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to first chop up the dill pickle. I will measure it. So we have a measurement to start with. And then I will do four sweet pickles. I will measure it, see where we're at. I did put the dill pickle juice in my bowl already, and it was two tablespoons. So we have our first actual measurement. All right, let me get to chopping. All right, there is our chopped dill pickles and the dill pickle juice. Um, so that was a cup and a half of dill pickles finely chopped. Now. I'm not writing this down yet because I might add to it at the end depending on the flavor. Um, so I'm just going to make a, a quick note and see at the very end we'll see how much we actually ended up with. So next up we're going to chop these sweet pickles. Remember we had four dill, now four sweet. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to chop them finely. All right, let me get to chopping. All right, all the pickles are chopped. Um, so the sweet pickles were a half a cup and one tablespoon. And I just wanted to, yeah, I washed my hands. See, I don't know how much you can see. It's pretty finely chopped, but not mushy. So there's still some crunch in there. All right, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to open this can of chopped black olives. I'm gonna drain it and dump that in there. I'm also cooking my pasta or my macaroni. Um, and I use chopped olives because again, I want them small. Um, I want a little bit of everything in every bite. The only exception to that is eggs. I'm not gonna <laughs> put a dozen eggs in here. All right, well, let me get this dumped in. And the next up, we're gonna do onions and um, I'm going to chop them dice, chop them finely as well. All right, I'll be back. All right, the onions are chopped. Now I used yellow onions today. I usually use red onions. You can use any kind of onion you want. And my onions were kind of small, so I did two. And when I measured it, it was exactly a cup of chopped onions. Again, everything's pretty finely chopped. I think they probably look a little bit bigger on here than, than they really are. Um, the olives are in there. I'm waiting for my macaroni noodles to cool all the way and then i'll be adding a smidge of mustard and i'm not sure how i'm going to measure that and mayonnaise which we can obviously measure out um all right well let's let this cool and um get ready for our next part 
I'll be back. All right, so I've got it all mixed together and this is what it looks like. And just by looking at this, I'm going to tell you, I'm probably going to add more pickles and maybe a little bit more onion. Um, I'm not sure how much, but so as I do it, I'll measure so we have measurements. Um, I'm gonna start with a quarter teaspoon of salt, pepper, and garlic powder, because I really have no idea how much I use each time. Probably a half a teaspoon of mustard. I usually use uh, yellow mustard, but all I have is spicy brown. That's what I'm gonna use, um, and I'll measure out the mayonnaise. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get that all mixed together and let these flavors start to mingle. Um, and then I'll test it throughout, taste test it throughout the day to see where I think it is and what I need to add. And then I, I'm not going to come back every time I add something. I'll just write it all down so that we have a recipe at the end. All right, let me get busy and I'll be back. All righty, let's finish up this macaroni salad. It has been 24 hours and I don't know how much you can see, but, or maybe you can't see very good. A lot of that mayonnaise has been absorbed. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. I think probably maybe half a cup. I don't want it swimming in mayonnaise, but I also don't want it dry. Um, so let me get that done and I'll mix it up. And then we have our last step to do. All right, so I put in about a half a cup of mayonnaise, but I, didn't, I just had a little bit left back in, in the jar. So I went ahead and added all of it. So it's a little bit more than a half a cup. Um, you add however much mayonnaise you want to to make it as creamy as you like it, okay? Um, some people like their macaroni salad creamier. Some people like it drier. So do it how you want it, how you like it, your taste, okay? Now, our last step is, and I always do this last, and it's usually the day that we're gonna eat the macaroni salad. So remember, this is 24 hours since I started making it. Now I'm going to boil four eggs. I use a pound of macaroni and it's always just four eggs. I boil them, I chop them up and put that in. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do now. And then basically my macaroni salad is ready to eat. But we'll take a look at it when we get it completely done. All right, I'll be back. Let's get to boiling. Whew, all right, macaroni salad is done. I did add a little bit more dill pickle, sweet pickle, salt, pepper, and onion. Um, I'm not gonna go through it all. I'm just gonna get it all, all my measurements added up and I'll put it below so you have exactly what my measurements were. But please, this is one of those salads that you can really do it how you like, how much you like. If you like more sweet pickle flavor, then definitely put more sweet pickle. You like it less creamy, put less mayonnaise. Um, so yeah, this is delicious. My dad taught me how to make this when I was 10. There's a certain butcher knife, that's what we call them, a butcher knife, that he used to chop his veggies with, which I have and I use. It does need to be sharpened. I hope you enjoy this as much as my family does. Thanks for spending some time with me here on The Girl in the Garden. This is Tina. Don't forget to do all the free stuff. Like, share, comment. And last of all, but not least, subscribe. All right, folks. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time. Bye.